Hey guys, Stanbricks, and guys, some very exciting news right here just announced just a couple minutes ago is the new Mayfix Tommy McGuire Spider Man from No Way Home. And this is awesome right here. I just came back from watching Spider Man 2 right now. Enjoyed the heck out of that right there. Made me laugh. A great little film right there. I'm just so happy that I watched it in theaters for the first time. That was so cool. And I can't wait for next week to watch Spider Man 3. And this right here did pop up middle of me watching the film. And this right here looks great. But there is sadly one thing that I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, but the first thing right here is this portrait right here. Looks really good. He is happy right here. And it looks pretty good. But sadly with these usually likeness portraits are usually not the greatest. Hopefully maybe with the final product it looks good. But most likely not. But so far not too bad as the prototype. The suit right here looks great. Uh, but the bad part about this figure I'm not going to lie. And I did see it right away. And that's going to be the mask. For some reason to me the mask right here looks really bad. It kind of gives me vibes of the original figures back then of the toy biz and it still looks like that i'm not gonna lie it really does look weird i want to say that even the sh figure arts might look a little bit better but as of right now i can't really tell comparing these two as of right now but i would definitely say i'm a little bit disappointed with the mask portrait but mine is the mask portrait i think the figure right here looks great um the posing looks very good the accessories right here for the webs look awesome and right here the portrait actually a second one with the mouth just of course like a standard one not really smiling and that looks pretty great right there i'm actually kind of shocked it does come with two and it comes with some more webs um and actually another accessory here's the tool that he uses in the film to of course stop sandman very cool does come with that um usually may fix doesn't come with the greatest accessories um but does come with some and actually, this one actually did shock me. It does come with a little portal right here uh, that he did pop out of. Um, the thing is kind of interesting. He didn't really wear this suit when he, of course, did pop up. Uh, but still a really cool little addition right there for the figure. And here's, of course, again, the portraits that look pretty great. And right here, all the accessories, all the webs, and the extra little mask part right here when he takes off the mask. So, very excited for this figure. I'm very interested in getting this figure, especially from watching the film. It's just the portrait to me looks a little bit off with the mask version. So, that's what I'm between right now. I don't know if I should get this compared to the SH figure arts. I would say the suit right here looks way better compared to the SH figure arts. And you know by Mayfix, they always usually do their figures really good for posing and everything. So that's the thing right there. The other thing is the price point for this is mostly going to be around 100 to 120. I'm a little bit scared. I might be a little more higher because they know it's Toby. A lot of fans are going to buy this. So that does scare me a little bit. Uh, but Tamara's recording the pre order should be available on the 23rd. So it's very exciting. It should be available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. That's, of course, my thoughts about this figure, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts about it. Do you guys like this figure? Are you guys are a little bit disappointed. Just tell me down below. Hopefully, we do get Andrew pretty soon. I'm excited to see that, especially to watch the films again in theaters. Hopefully, that's great watching that in the big screen again. So, very excited right there, guys. But that's, of course, my thoughts, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.